Okay, so this is going to be a two-parter. Uh, the first part, uh, if you guys have had issues trying to upload code to these boards, right now we are working with an Adafruit Pro Trinket, and this is the 5 volt, 16 megahertz version. So uh, we're going to go over two things. First, we're going to go over how to actually upload the code, because it was a little hard to find on their website. And the second part is going to be how to repair a bootloader um, if you have an error. So if you plug it in and don't get the red light, you only get the green light, then uh, you can skip ahead to the uh, fixing the bootloader part. So, first, um, in order to upload code, the special thing about the Pro Trinket is that it doesn't have a serial chip in it to, um, to communicate, so you can't send serial signals to the computer. They remove that chip to save money, so that these are cheaper to make. So in order for you to upload code through the USB port, they had to do some uh, funk diggery in the uh, bootloader, so it's their opti loader or something. Basically, when you plug it in, it goes into um, an accepting mode where it waits 8 seconds to accept code. The other way to get into that bootloader, if it's past the 8 seconds, is you just push this reset button. You just click that, and you'll go into the bootloader. So you have 8 seconds to upload the code. If you don't get it in that amount of time, <coughs> it's going to fail. So over here on the computer, um, you have to download the board um, stuff for it and download... You have to download the drivers. I'm going to assume you already did that. So, in the Arduino, we're going to go to Tools. We're going to go to Board. For me, I'm going to pick up the Pro Trinket 5 volt 16 megahertz USB. And under the Programmer, we're going to use the USB Tiny ISP. So, when we plug this in, we're going to get our green light and our red light, and the red light should pulse gently. So we are, but this has been plugged in for a little bit, so it's not in the bootloader. So what we're going to do, if I can get you to focus, we're going to push the reset button. Okay, so now we got that quick blink. Now real quick, we go over here and hit upload. And if it works, all right, there we go. I don't know if you saw that. If it come in here. So that's all good. So now you know how to upload code. So the next part is going to be what happens when your bootloader doesn't work. I, if you plug it in and you only get a green light like this and there's no red light at all, well, either you got some weird code on it or you got a problem. So first try to upload code. If you can't upload code, then we'll move over to the next part of how to upload uh, the bootloader by using an Arduino Uno. Okay, so we are going to see if we can fix this Pro Trinket 5 volt from Adafruit. Um, right now, I don't think it has a bootloader on it. I ordered a, uh, a stack of 20 of them in, um, I think it was early November. And uh, two out of the 20 uh, were giving me an issue. And I didn't find out the first one until uh, it was already installed in my little project I've been making over here. So I'll show you what a good one looks like, and then I'll show you what a bad one looks like. So I'm going to plug this guy in. Okay. So we got a red light, we got a green light, and I don't know if you could hear that, but my computer dinged. It's reading the connection as a USB tiny. So that is what a good one looks like. Power light turns on, and the red light blinks. So now let's plug in one of the bad ones. So here's the one that I caught that was being naughty. So I don't know if you could hear that, but the, the computer did not beep, and the red light doesn't come on at all. We just got a green bar. I've tried all kinds of stuff. I've gone through, you know, 20 of these things. I've, I've not had any issues with the others. So these two have had this problem. So there's no flashy red light, no nothing, just green. So what I'm going to try and do is reflash the bootloader and see if that fixes our problem. So over here on the Adafruit website, it actually shows you how to do that for reprogramming the bootloader. Uh, all you have to do is hook up five pins. So you're going to need an Arduino Uno to do this. So you, you download a sketch, you hook all these up, open up the terminal and do some magic. So we need pins 13, 12, 11, ground, and VBAT. Uh, this is for 5 volt. If you're using the 3 volt, then you'll need a 1K resistor for some of these. But you just hook it up and uh, do some magic. So uh, I had to manually unsolder each one of these header pins. So this is going to be fun putting them back in. I have to put them in one at a time. But uh, we need 13, 12, 11, ground, and battery positive. So we're going to hook pins up to that, and we're going to use our Uno over here to uh, flash that. So we'll hook this up to like a breadboard or something, 
and uh, see what we can't come up with. Okay, so mine's gonna be a little backwards compared to what you guys do, because you're probably used to putting the pins in uh, like this, where the short end goes in like that, so you got the big leg at the bottom. But the way that I'm installing them, I'm actually gonna put it halfway through, sort of, kinda, so that the big way goes up through the top. So it's gonna be a little weird, but again, we need 13, 12, 11, ground and positive. So let's do ground and positive first. And this is also how to put pins back in after you've had to solder and there's already goop all over the place. So we're going to take this guy and we're going to grab it by the tiny end. For you guys it would be the big end, but grab it with a pair of pliers. So we're going to heat it up from the bottom. Okay. Make sure they're firmly seated too because if they're sitting just at the edge then they'll all sit out of weird proportions and stuff and we don't want that okay so the next problem is all, all these pens are going to be all over the place they're not going to line up straight when you have to put them in so what i do is eventually you can kind of bend one at a time and just sort of get it in there i have a board on here that'll hold it in place so now we can clean these up make sure everything sits flush and solder them all up so they're happy but initially heating them up Helps them move back to where they need to be. We'll just double check, make sure that the solder is good. Number 13 over here doesn't have any solder, so I'll give him some. Now that we got our pins in place, let's hook up the breadboard and see what happens. So before we hook anything up, we're going to download our file. So we are going to want the 5 volt over here since we're using a 5 volt. So we unzip this and we should get a folder and inside that folder should be the bootloader. I guess we got other stuff in here too. So we're going to go and open this up in Arduino. Okay, oh look at that, there's all kinds of stuff in here. But all we really care about is going up to tools and we're going to change everything back to stock. So or ARV ISP Mark II. Uh, we're going to be using an UNO, so use the UNO, and don't forget about your port, so let's set our port. Okay, so now we can upload, so it'll verify everything down here, and then we'll send everything over. Okay, cool. So, now we come over to here, and everything seems like it's happy. So now, if we open up our serial monitor, we should see, uh, first we got to set our baud right, I think it's 9600, oh, 57600, I'm sorry, uh, this one, there we go, that looks good, okay, so what we'll do is now that everything's good, we're going to unplug this, we're going to hook it all up, and uh, then we'll come back to this. Okay, so we got our pins hooked up. We got 13, 12, and 11 to 13, 12, and 11. And then we have our ground and our battery positive over to our 5 volts and our ground over here. Make sure you line them up properly. Okay. Okay, so I did a little diagnostic. I wanted to make sure that the way that I started the pins wasn't affecting our problem, and it's not... Um, I just checked the continuity of this wire, and the wire is broken. I forgot, duh, there's a big, or a little tiny black stripe on there indicating that it's dead. If we hook this up to the multimeter and do our little beepy test, we don't get any beepy. So, this wire is shot, so let's try a different wire and try it again. Okay, so I actually forgot a pin. You have to put the, uh, the reset pin on there too, if you can see that. Goofball me, forgetting stuff. It was in bold, so I didn't see it. <laughs> Tell me how that works. Okay, so the reset pin on the Adafruit goes to pin 10 on the Arduino. So now it should do stuff. So now let's plug it in and try it. Okay. Serial monitor. Okay. Type G, hit enter. Aha, there we go. That's what we want. Now we got those blinking lights. Cool. And just to run you through what all this says.
cool. All right, so I think this is good. So let's unplug it and then see if we can upload code to it. Okay, so let's plug it in. See if we get the magic, the magic lights. Hey, look at that. We get a dink and we get the flashies. Sweet, that's awesome. Yeah, so that's how it was. We just had a bootloader uh, issue. Cool. So now we can upload our code. So let's find a sketch over here. We're gonna hit reset and hit upload. All right, well, I hope uh, that helps you guys out. I've had uh, a lot of learning with these guys. They are very powerful and very enjoyable. They just have a couple quirks that make it a little hard to get started. Once you get started, man, these things are nice. I like the Pro Trinkets, uh, but if that serial stuff bugs you or you don't like this bootloader, move up to the Metro Mini. It's got more It's got more program space, it's got serial out, it's got more pins, more LEDs, more everything. It's only five bucks more, so if you can afford it, get one. These things are awesome. So there you go. That's how you do some Pro Trinket uh, Adafruit magicry. Hope that helps you.